Hey everybody, this is Freeman Sullivan. I'm uh, back again. It's 8 o'clock p.m. here in New York City. We're at Zuccotti Park. Myself and my lovely agent, Tiffany. Say hi to the audience there, Tiffany. Thank you. Anyway, we're down here. We're uh, going to make a turn around at Trinity Plaza to... Uh, I'm, having, I'm getting error messages posting on Twitter. So uh, if you could tweet me out and my URL and everything, that would be great. It's uh, The long one is ustream.tv slash channel slash Freeman Sullivan. I know it's a bit to type in, but it, it'll shorten it when you tweet it out. Anyway, everything's quiet down here. No occupiers, uh, as you can see. But we're going to go around the corner over here to... Uh, Trinity Plaza and and speak with some occupiers that are there. Uh, there are people that are here pretty much 24/7. They're around the corner. They're like a site that is like federal land, and it's legal for them to sleep there. It's called a sleepful protest. I got one viewer already. Woohoo! That's me. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yep, uh, I can see it. I hear you. Subscribe. Nice. We did. Subscribe. Now How's the strong. picture look? How's the what? How's the picture look? I don't know. Let me see. It's not up yet. I oh. went to do something else. Oh. Still buffering. There okay, it is. there we go. Let me get it real close. Do something else. Oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, me, that looks pretty cool, huh? Yes. There we go. So we got about a three second lag, three to four second lag. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, we welcome you to our live stream. We got another viewer up. Uh, we're out here at Zuccotti Park here in uh, beautiful New York City, having a wonderful time. Uh, skies are cloudy, threatening rain, but it hasn't rained all day today. Maybe a couple of dribbles. So we're happy. Uh, we're getting ready to move over to Trinity Plaza to hang out with the Occupy crowd. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to be leaving here. I'm sad to say I'm leaving New York in another tomorrow evening to take the midnight uh, the midnight cruiser from uh, New York down and back down. I'm going to be dropped off in Baltimore. So you'll see my next stream. I'll be I'll be live streaming tomorrow, but I'm also going to be uh, uh, when I get to Baltimore. I'm going to do a little bit of live streaming there. And I'm actually going to go down and, and go to a few uh, places where I know there's occupiers and whatnot. And uh, so do stay tuned for that these next couple of days. And then I'll be back in D.C. Uh, and I might do a live stream from D.C. So uh, if I can get a hold of some people. So look for that. I'll be back in San Francisco on the 26th where I will be on a panel discussion discussing uh, the future of technology and Occupy. So uh, if you're in San Francisco and you want to check it out, uh, I don't have a location for it just yet because I haven't checked my email, but we'll do that later on tonight, and I'll let you know exactly what I'm going to be up to. So do follow me. Uh, click on the follow button, which is under the video on the uh, Ustream page, if you're looking on Ustream. Um, log on to the social stream and chat with me and let me know how the video looks. And if you have any questions or any place that you'd like for me to go, I'd be more than happy to do so. Uh, we do not accept donations at this time. So don't worry about passing me any cash because I'm not asking for it. Uh, we do, however, <coughs> excuse me. We do, however, ask that if you're going to bring donations and you want to donate to something that you're if you're in the New York City metro area, take some time out and or have somebody deliver blankets, food, clothing, water, uh, necessary umbrella umbrellas, raincoats, uh, plastic tarps, anything that could help people uh, occupy outdoors um, that would be necessary. That's uh, winter times coming up. Uh, maybe uh, collecting some old winter coats and bringing them down would be really nice. Long underwear is always appreciated. Socks, gloves, uh, things that you know, are more of uh, people that live indoors take for granted uh, because there are people that are outdoors here on a 24-7 basis and they need your love and support. So just so you would know that, we got the sculpture here. Oh, there's only like three cops down here. They just, I think basically they're just keeping an eye on the place to keep people from setting up tents. There's also another uh, Occupy that's in the early evening, which is at Union Square, but um, I've been so busy I really haven't had a chance to get up there, so I'm sorry about that, um, because I am leaving tomorrow. 
Um, I'm, I was uh, at Global Rev Studios today and Global Revolution Studios, and I got to meet the uh, uh, Vlad, who is the uh, uh, head developer there of the uh, Global Revolution. So uh, we have some new and exciting projects for live streaming that we hope to have completed by January. And uh, when we do so, you guys are going to be really amazed. And we want to put a smartphone in everybody's hands with unlimited bandwidth so you can broadcast and you can do your own live streaming because that's what it's all about. It's not just about me, it's about you and getting you out there in the world and also having you live stream certain instances, you know, all these instances of what happens. And not just Occupy, but for there's all kinds of different applications that, that live streaming can be used for and we want to enable you to do so without commercial interruption of what you're seeing right now. So do check back and keep abreast of what's going on. And you can do that by clicking onto the follow tab underneath of the video and that will send you an email every time I'm broadcasting. And speaking of which, let me click on and see if I got our social messaging. Ah, Twitter finally worked. Uh, let's see if we got anybody. All right, OBS 99, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for the retweet there, Soc Socrates. And uh, I have a safe trip. I'm um, getting ready. One of the reasons I came down here, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I, uh, there's a young lady at the uh, at Occupy that needs a bus ride or uh, money for a bus trip to go back to uh, D.C. And I told her uh, uh, that I'd come down and I, if she meets me at the uh, the bus terminal or the bus stop, that I'll be happy to uh, to pay for her bus ticket so she can get back home. And I'll have some company on the bus and somebody to talk to. It's only like a four-hour ride. But nonetheless, uh, just to get somebody safe and sound at home, back to their families, um, that's really important, as I'm going to see mine on a, in a couple of days. So I'm really excited to be out here. Uh, most of the stuff that I came here to do in New York, I've been very successful at. And it's been a really, really good trip. And uh, I had a lot of interactions. Last night after we left, there was a lot of, a lot of commotion with the police department. And... Uh, uh, well, at any rate, we were leaving, and a lot of occupiers are really hostile towards the police. There's, a, I can feel, feel the animosity. And we were down there yesterday, and uh, we were, uh, we had just passed Wall Street, and we were trying to get the subway to get to the Empire State Building, where we were going to go to a party at the, uh, at the Empire Room, which is this really ritzy bar in the, at the Empire State Building. I recommend you check it out. They uh, mix lovely but super expensive drinks, but you get your money's worth there. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a real nice place. And it's in the Empire State Building. And no, I didn't go up. Uh, I wish I'd have went up in the building, but that's okay. I've, I've been up in tall buildings before. This is not my first rodeo in, in New York. So, at any rate. Uh, okay, so uh, as we're uh, going to the thing, there was a police officer standing by one of the barricades uh, near Broadway here, near the second and, or the number two line and the number three. And we weren't sure on how to get up there, so I rolled up and I asked the officer, uh, "Sir, uh, officer, do you, uh, you uh, do you know if the two or the three go up to uptown, where near the Empire State Building?" And the um, the officer was very, very nice, and very friendly. He said no, but he was willing to go downstairs to check. He said there was a map, and he went down there to check for me, and came back up and told me that yes, indeed, that the two and the three go up to Midtown. And uh, I thought that it was very nice of that police officer. He went out of his way to help me. And I just want to say that I know that the police are out here and they're beating people up on occasion and whatever and whatnot. Uh, not all of them are bad. Not all police officers are bad. Uh, a lot of them are very kind and very gentle people and very compassionate. So don't be judging the uh, individual police officers by the conduct of the commands. Oh, sorry about that. My, uh, my holder here just closed and, sorry, <laughs> that kind of freaked me out, but I, no problem. Anyway, don't be judging the whole department. Oh, friggin' frick, hold on. Something's up with my holder here. Oh, I see what the problem is. Hold on, just a second, viewers. No, it's the rubber thing's coming out just a tiny little bit. But we'll be right up. No harm done. There we go. Fix problem, problem solved. Um... So, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for retweeting me, uh, because 
I try to get my Twitter developed, but I don't have a. I only have about 270 followers, so I'm trying to build it up. My Facebook is huge, but at any rate, thanks for reach. Please retweet me and get it out there. The word uh, that I'm out here uh, streaming, and I'm getting around, getting ready to go around the corner to uh, talk with some occupiers, provide some moral support, and let them know that people out here we do care about them, and we are supporting them as much as possible. So, uh, and we're really excited to be here. Not too many people down here tonight. I guess everybody kind of stayed indoors because of the rain. But there's always tons and tons of people out here in New York, right? It's like the city amazes me with all the people that are here. And yes, it does go 24/7. Although, like, it, it's not really. I mean, people do go home and go to bed here. I mean, it's not like the city's totally bustling. But yes, it, the subway system is an absolute marvel. I've never had to wait more than 15 minutes for any any subway that had been here, even in the middle of the night, we were coming home one night at three o'clock in the morning and uh, able to get on the subway and, and whatnot and ride and and uh, get home. So I love